This is a video I'm making for people with O negative blood type. I have O negative blood type, so that's obviously why I'm making this video. And this is for other people who also have it because it's important to know what to do if you have it. So, here we go. Um, blood group O means absence of both A and B antigens and both anti a and anti B antibody in the plasma. A negative blood group means that the RH antigen is absent on the red blood cells. Blood group O negative has no A and B antigens. RH antigen is absent. The antibodies are anti-A and anti-B. Have, they have A and B antibodies in the plasma, which means they can't accept any blood type besides O negative blood. Um, but in an emergency situation, if the person needs to be transfused with blood, O positive sometimes can work, but it's definitely not. Sometimes it can't. So generally speaking, if there's O negative blood, that should be the only thing, only blood type that should be transfused into the person with O negative blood. But like I said, O positive blood can be transfused if there is no O negative blood available in the blood bank, so to speak, in the hospital or emergency room you're in. Um, a person with O negative blood group will have none of the three antigens and therefore can only receive O negative blood group. Any other blood group will result in immune attack of the foreign antigen. However, this person can donate blood to any blood group person as none of the three antigens is present on the red blood cells. O negative blood group is relatively rare and its prevalence varies among different races. Um, around 7 to 8 percent of Caucasian people globally will have O negative blood group. Only 1% of Asian population will have O negative blood group. And overall, around 5% of the world's population will have O negative blood group globally. Um, a woman a woman with O negative blood group may have RH incompatibility issues when she is pregnant with an RH positive fetus. However, adequate prophylactic treatment is available and it almost always prevents complications if taken at proper schedule. The treatment involves injecting the mother with antibodies 
against the Rh antigen during pregnancy and at the time of delivery of the baby. It is the universal donor blood group. Additionally, O negative red blood cells are safest for newborn infants with underdeveloped immune systems. Some researchers admit that O negative people make up about 9% of the world's population. Nothing more than that. It would range between probably 5% to 9% or 10%, but nothing above that, um, making it the fourth rarest type. There are four groups of blood types, and there are eight types. And so, O negative blood group or O negative blood type is part of the O blood group, which there are O negative and O positive. But out of that group, there are eight types of blood you can have. O positive, O negative, a positive, A negative, B positive, B negative, AB positive, and AB negative. So there's eight. O negative is the fourth rarest, coming in at about five to nine percent of the world's population. But let's also note that O negative is the most important blood type because what the hell does it matter if there's only one AB positive or AB negative person in the world? Um, if they can receive such, such and such blood types. Okay. Um, researchers would admit that around 15% of O negatives would have such an adverse reaction to getting another blood type. It could kill them, which is true. What happens if you activate a substance that punches holes in the red blood cells and they kill and they kind of explode? So that's what happens. Um, Even more of a reason to have a large supply of O negative blood in your blood supply bank. We need you, or blood typos, more often than anyone else that's a superhero. Fun fact, every year approximately 5 million people need blood transfusions in the U United States of America. And just another thing, um, blood type frequency, the O positive people make up a bigger range, 38% of the population, O negative 7%, around 7%, these are, these are um, basically not set in stone percentages, but they're, you know, around that range if you will. <laughs> A positive is about 34%. A negative is 6%. Around 6%. So you could say this is maybe a little bit off too. I think that there are far less O negatives than there are A negatives. But fuck it. We're just going to go with what they wrote down here. Um, B, po <laughs> B positives are around 
the negatives are around 2%. AB positives are 3%. AB negatives are 1%. And AB positives are the universal recipients, which means they can receive any blood type. Um, so, just because someone like me is considered rare doesn't mean that there are other blood types that are rarer. There are, but the difference is, is that if I was to, say, be around some guy that I was interested in, and I was to suck his blood, or I guess you could say drink his blood, I would probably get really, really sick and not be okay. In fact, if I had too much of that person's blood, I would die. That's the difference between someone that's AB, AB positive, which is about like hardly anybody AB positive, and they can pretty much take anybody's blood. They're not as rare in the sense that their chemical makeup is anything that's interesting based on history, and I'll explain that. One other thing before I explain that. Um, o negative blood type in pregnancy, again, um, there can be some complications because say, because O negative is, does not have the Rh antigen, um, say your husband has the R is Rh positive. Um, if this happens, the fetus's blood Rh positive mixes with the mother's Rh negative blood, and since the Rh factor is a foreign antigen for the mother, it can generate antibodies to attack the fetus's red blood cells as they contain the Rh antigen. This may cause your baby to have a condition called hemolytic disease. It can cause severe damage to the unborn baby, including a miscarriage. There are also chances of stillbirth or death of the infant shortly after birth. The solution to this problem is simple as this. An injection containing a blood product called the Rh immunoglobulin, Rhig, is given to the mother during pregnancy and after the baby is delivered. The, this prevents the mother's immune system from creating antibodies against the Rh positive fetus during pregnancy. Each pregnancy requires the Rhig treatment, so before it's too late. <clears throat> In a case like this, if someone like myself was to have sex with a man and get pregnant who has, who is Rh positive, then basically what's going to happen is you're going to have to really, listen, I don't know the facts on this, but you'd probably have to go like right away to get the shot or else it might be too late within a matter of hours, I'm not sure, within a matter of days. Hold on. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> okay. So now we'll go into the diet, and I may say a few other things, um, not related to the diet, but I don't know. Um, diet for O negative 
types. This might be O positive as well. You'd have to look into that. It might. I think it's similar for O negatives and O positive, but I'll go into that. Diet for O negative blood type. High protein, lean diet for weight loss. Consumption of wheat, legumes, and whole grains should be kept minimum as they promote weight gain. People with type O are likely to suffer from health conditions such as um, ulcers and thyroid problems. And I have had thyroid problems, so I know, and I know what that's like. <laughs> I was pregnant, and the RH factor, I think, was... I can't say for sure, but I was having severe issues with pregnancy. And this is something I need to look into, but the baby was growing, but I'm not sure if it had some kind of mental problems or something, because I felt like my blood was attacking it, and so I just kept consuming, consuming, not exercising at all, and my thyroid disease started kicking in, because basically I was damaging my body by by the pregnancy. Now the second time I got pregnant, it was an automatic miscarriage because obviously something was quickly discovered as wrong and the baby just died. But I felt like I almost died during the second pregnancy, although I enjoyed it for the very beginning portion. By the end of the pregnancy, I started having severe, severe, severe complications, depression, anxiety, panic attack sort of feelings, and overeating, feelings of death and weird shit. So, you know, I should have obviously had transfusions of the, um... the defense for the RH factor. Regardless, that might have not even been the reason because there may be history ties between O negative types that also make it so that the person is unable to have children based on maybe maybe something like aliens or something based on history. I'm not sure what. So, uh, going into the diet. OPS. Tomorrow, I'm going to do a video based exactly on what I just said the history of maybe where type O blood types have come from and the history behind them, really some just some scientific evidence and historical evidence as to why people with type O negative seem to have a strange sort of relationship with things and themselves and all that. So this might be where the UFOs come in or where the ancestral ties come in and so on and so forth. So going back to diet. It's never fun to talk about diet but it will be now. <laughs> um, okay. So basically, basically, according to these researchers, um, the history of O negative blood type is basically the same as O positive as well. So. 
The history of O blood type will make it easier for you to understand why to eat what you should eat, as the origins from where you came help you understand your path better as to where you're headed. O is for old. The blood type O ancestors have been the Neanderthals who were here almost 40,000 years ago and have been the roots of the people who branched out as O blood type. They hunted and in organized packs, making use of weapons and tools that gave them strength beyond the measure of an ordinary bare-handed human, letting go of fear of any animal rivals they could have, and they became efficient hunters without many natural predators at all. Their population went up and their main source of nutrition, fuel, was protein that came from meat. Later, however, the competition between them and the scarcity of meat on those hunting grounds made them disperse far and wide, out of Africa towards Europe and Asia, soon occupying all lands except Antarctica. Type O is the hunter type. Meat eater, robust and tough digestive tract, highly active immune system, best way to deal with stress is rigorous physical activity, Cannot adapt easily to drastic dietary and environmental changes. Inefficient metabolism is essential to stay lean, healthy, and energetic. Um, uh, so, basically, the ancestors' diet was high in protein and fat, with a few carbo with few carbohydrates. Um, so you may be sitting back and blinking and thinking to the thought of saturated fats that are unhealthy and that eating too much meat is bad for you. Meats that are injected and pumped up with hormones and other dangerous antibiotics to plump up are certainly best to avoid most entirely, but organic meats aren't so bad for O blood type and are actually the fuel that your body needs. Think about the foods that require hunting. It would certainly not be a field of wheat or a glass of milk. So, blood types won't benefit much from drinking milk and eating bread. Their systems aren't quite so entirely adapted to dairy and grains the way that other blood types are. Um, the main reason why you may be piling on the pounds is not the meat you eat, but due to the amount of grains and pulses and legumes you have in your diet. Whole wheat germ and and wheat germ has gluten, which puts a stress on your metabolism. This means that your calories are not utilized efficient, efficiently, um, stressing your digestive system out. The gluten lectins oppose the proper metabolism of insulin. Another factor to consider is that the muscle tissue in O blood types is more acidic, hence you might as well avoid legumes pulses and beans that have lectins making your muscle tissues a bit naturally alkaline. The regulation of the thyroid is another factor to consider for weight gain. Um, hypothyroidism is another reason why O blood types gain weight. Insufficient levels of iodine lead to hypothyroidism, symptoms of which include muscle loss and fatigue and retention of fluids that is a cause of bloating and weight gain. Foods promoting weight gain for type O. Wheat, gluten, sweet corn, kidney beans, navy beans, lentils, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower. Pr foods promoting weight loss. Foods containing iodine to avoid hypothyroidism. Kelp, seafood, iodized salt. Sources of vitamin B that are great for efficient metabolism, liver, red meat, kale, spinach, and broccoli. Um, one thing to be kept in mind is that you cannot quite eat excessive meat. Um, as your ancestors didn't quite eat that amount either. Pff, 
the high acid content in O blood types makes it possible for them to digest meat rather easily. The more exercise you take, the more protein is required. Balance out the amount of protein you take with fresh fruits and vegetables to avoid over acidification in your body that can lead to a lot of irritation um, of the lining of your stomach and re can result into gruesome ulcers. Highly beneficial, beef, buffalo, uh, <laughs> hearts, kidney, lamb, liver, mutant, oxtail, sweetbreads, tripe, veal, venison. Neutral, chicken, duck, partridge, pheasant, pusan, quail, rabbit, turkey. Avoid bacon, goose, ham, and pork. That should be easy to remember. Um, seafood. As O blood type is vulnerable to thin blood, which resists clotting, the vitamin K found in seafood is highly beneficial as it promotes clotting of blood. Um, seafood is an excellent choice and source of iodine which regulates thyroid function. Let us look at what seafood should be included in the diet for O negative blood type and what shouldn't make its way on your table. <coughs> seafood should be consumed more often um, than other meats for the O negative blood type. O negative only. Seafood more often than other meats for O negative blood type only. Highly beneficial. Blue fish, cod, hake, halibut, mackerel, red snapper, perch, pike, trout, salmon, sardine, snapper, sole, bait, bat, bass, sturgeon, swordfish. Neutral. Abalone, albacore, anchovy, clam, crab. Crocker eels, frog legs, grouper, haddock, herring, lemon sole, lobster, mahi mahi, monkfish, mussels, oysters, prawns, redfish, sail sailfish, scallops, sea bass, sea trout, sharks, smelts, snails, squid. Avoid barracuda, catfish, caviar, conch, pickled herring, octopus, and smoked salmon. Dairy fish, dairy products, and eggs. Although milk products aren't beneficial at all to O negative blood types. Um, if you're of African origin, you may find yourself particularly lactose intolerant. Best is to avoid milk products and eggs. You can have soy milk and soy cheese, which are good alternatives for protein. Neutral. Butter, feta cheese, goat milk cheese, mozzarella cheese, soy milk, soy cheese. I just thought of something, sorry. Avoid blue cheese, brie, buttermilk, cottage cheese, goat milk. I'm just, there's too many of them to talk about right now. Ice cream, avoid ice cream. Gouda cheese, skim milk, Provolone cheese, Parmesan, ricotta cheese, Y, and yogurt. Oh, good lord. Um, oils and fats. Highly beneficial are linseed oil, flaxseed, and olive oil. Neutral are canola oil, cod liver oil, oil sesame oil. Avoid corn oil, cottonseed oil, ground nut oil, sunflower oil. Nuts and seeds. Nut butters are easy to easier to digest for O negative blood types. Excuse me. Than eating them simply as nuts, as they have a tendency to cause digestive problems if not chewed well. Um, highly beneficial are pumpkin seeds and walnuts. Neutral. Almonds, almond butter, chestnuts, hazelnuts. Hickory nuts, um, pecans, pine nuts, um, sesame seeds, sesame butter, sunflower margar margarine, sunflower seeds. Avoid Brazil nuts, cashew nuts, pe peanuts, peanut butter, pistachio seeds, poppy seeds, beans, and pulses. 
Eating beans in moderation works best for the O negative blood type. Their muscle tissue is always slightly acidic and they burn fat faster when it is so. Beans, legumes, and pulses make it a bit alkaline by depositing lectins that are less acidic. Highly beneficial beans mentioned below are good as they make your digest digestive tract stronger and keep a common problem of many O negative blood types, which is acidity at bay, and promote healing of the digestive tracts. Highly beneficial, ajuki beans, black, black eyed beans, and pinto beans. Neutral black beans, broad beans, chickpeas, green beans, lima beans, green peas, sugar snap peas. Avoid kidney beans, navy beans, lentils, brown, green, red, soybeans. Cereals. People who have an O negative blood type are most susceptible to huge amounts of weight gain due to gluten in whole wheat and whole wheat products because of the presence of lectins in them. They get in the way of proper absorption of other nutrients. Thus, with the met metabolic processes hindered and made sluggish, you tend to put on weight. Um, neutral, amaranth, barley, buckwheat, cream of rice, puffed millet, oat bran, oatmeal, rice bran, puffed rice, spelt. So those are neutral. Avoid cornflakes, cornmeal, cream of wheat, corn, corn, and wheat. Avoid that. Um, familia, farina, granola, grape nuts, wheat bran, wheat germ, shredded wheat. Breads and muffins. To begin with, breads aren't the best choice when it comes to own negative blood types, as a lot of them contain wheat. If you are having a daily sandwich for breakfast or toast, Maybe it would be best to switch to something else as it happens as it isn't the most beneficial, taking into consideration the gluten content in it. The genetic makeup isn't quite designed to be able to metabolize grains well, however, you can always benefit from the sprouted wheat essen essen bread as the lectins present in it are quite destroyed by the sprouting process. Highly beneficial is just one thing, sprouted wheat essen bread. I don't know where that is. You'd probably find it at mother's health food stores. Uh, neutral. Brown rice bread, gluten-free bread, millet breads, rice cakes, 100% rye bread, rye, rye crisps, soy wheat flour, spelt breads, blah blah blah. Avoid bagels. Um, corn muffins, cornbread, wheat bread, English muffins, multigrain bread, oat bran muffins, pumpernickel bread, wheat bran muffins, whole wheat bread. You notice that most of the stuff is just the stuff that you find most often in people's kitchens and just because most people don't have type O negative blood so obviously it's going to be easier for someone to survive and thrive in a society where the most easiest things to pick up and eat are the things that most blood types can eat but not for the more rare ones which you have to look up your blood type I'm just explaining type O grains and pastas Um, no grains or pastas are highly beneficial to the blood type. Most pastas are made from salmonella, so it's best to check the pa package for ingredients before you buy it. Make sure to buy gluten-free pastas. Neutral. Buckwheat flour, barley flour, kasha, rye flour, rice flour, spelt flour, quinoa, rice, basmati, brown and white, buckwheat noodles, tapioca, wild rice. I love wild rice. <laughs> Avoid couscous, wheat flour, gluten flour, graham flour, oat flour, plain flour, self-raising flour, salmonella, salmonella pasta, sprouted wheat flour, whole wheat flour. Um, 
veggies, sprouts, soy, and fresh herbs. Sorry, my phone is ringing. Um, veggies, sprouts, soy, and fresh herbs. It is important to consider vitamin K when you're wanting to buy vegetables, as vitamin K helps clot blood. There are certain veggies that may al trigger allergic reactions in your body, while some that get in the way of efficient thyroid function. However, all fresh herbs are beneficial for O negative blood type. Uh, so go crazy on the herbs. <laughs> Highly beneficial. Beetroot leaves, broccoli, collard greens, dandelion greens, and dive es escarole, garlic, globe artichoke, horseradish, kale, uh, leeks, okra, um, onions, all types of onion, parsley, red parsley, um, pumpkin, seaweeds, spinach. Sweet potatoes are good. Um, Swiss chard, tapioca, and turnips. Neutral, asparagus, bamboo, shoots. Believe it or not, you can find these things. <laughs> Beetroots, broad beans, capsicum, carrots, celery, chicory, cucumber, <laughs> dill, fennel, ginger, green olives, jalapenos, uh, Jamaica beans, lettuce. Uh, sprouts, moon, moon, moon bean sprouts, mushrooms, all sorts of mushrooms, radishes, there's so many different things you can basically inhale that are healthy for you. Tofu, tomatoes, water chestnuts, yams, watercress. Avoid um, alfalfa sprouts, avocado, um, cabbage, avoid some mushrooms like cultivated mushrooms and shiitake, avoid black olives, Greek olives, Spanish olives, mustard greens, and red and white potatoes, and sweet corn. Fruits, most fruits most beneficial to the O negative blood type are the ones that will keep their acidic digestive tract alkaline. Highly beneficial are figs, fresh and dried, plums, green, purple, and red, and prunes. Neutral are apples, apricots, bananas, blueberries, cherries, cranberries, red dates, grapefruit, grapes, guava, kiwi, lemons, limes, mangoes, melons, papayas, peaches, pears, pineapples, persimmons, pomegranates, prickly pears, raisins, raspberries, starfruit, watermelons, blah 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 and more. Avoid blackberries, coconuts, melon, cantaloupe and honeydew, oranges, rhubarb, strawberries, and tangerines. <laughs> cantaloupe and honeydew melon. Um, juices. Vegetable juices are preferred over fruit juices in the diet for O-negative blood type due to their alkalinity. Um, avoid drinking juices high in sugars. Pineapple juice is great for preventing bloating and assist and acidity. Highly beneficial is black cherry juice, pineapple juice, prune juice. Um, neutral apricot juice, carrot juice, celery juice, cucumber juice, cranberry juice, grape juice, grapefruit juice, papaya juice, tomato water with lemon. Vegetable juices of vegetables which are highly beneficial. Avoid apple cider, apple juice, cabbage juice, orange juice. These can spices, dry herbs, and flavorings. These can improve your digestive as well as immune system if eaten rightly. Um, highly beneficial is basically carob, cyan pepper, seaweeds, kelp seaweed, turmeric. Neutral. Um, agar, allspice, almond essence, anise, arrowroot, barley, malt, basil, bay leaf, bergamot. Brown rice syrup, capers, caraway, cardamom, chervil, chive, chocolate, cloves, coriander, corn syrup, cream of tartar, cumin, dill, garlic, honey, horseradish, maple syrup, mint, miso, molasses, 
mustard, dry paprika, pepper, peppercorns, red pepper flakes, peppermint, um, rice syrup, rosemary, saffron, sage, salt, savory, spearmint, sugar, brown, and white. Tamari tam tamarind, tarragon, thyme, thyme. Um, avoid cinnamon, corn flour, nutmeg, pepper, ground black and white, vanilla essence, vinegars, balsamic cider, distilled white herb, malt, red and white wine vinegars. Um, condiments. Whilst there aren't any highly beneficial condiments for a negative blood type diet plan, you can use the ones that are neutral for you in moderation, making sure they're low fat and low sugar. Best is to use olive oil, lemon juice, and garlic. Neutral jam from the fruits that are beneficial as mentioned earlier, jelly from acceptable fruits, mustards, salad dressing low fat and from beneficial and neutral ingredients, war, Worcester sauce. Avoid ketchup, mayonnaise, pickles, dill, kosher, sweet, sour, and relish. And herbal teas. Herbal teas are very, he very healing and promote strengthening of the digestive and immune system when had rightly. Highly beneficial. Chickweed, cyan, dandelion, fen fenugreek, ginger, hops, linden, lime leaf, parsley, peppermint, rose hip, sarsaparilla. You can find those teas, believe it or not. <laughs> Neutral, catnip, chamomile, Chinese angelica, elderflower, ginseng, green tea, hawthorn, hound, uh, licorice root, um, that sounds good, raspberry leaf, sage, spearmint, thyme, valerian, Yarrow. Um, avoid alfalfa, aloe, burdock root, colt's foot, corn silk, echinacea, echinacea, or whatever. Um, golden seal, red clove, rhubarb, sena, shepherd's purse, St. John's wort, strawberry leaf, yellow dock. Believe it or not, you can find all these teas. <laughs> and lastly, other beverages. A bit of wine and beer is allowed in moderation for O negative blood types. If you're habituated to drinking coffee, it's best to cut down slowly as this is bound to make your stomach quite acidic. Highly beneficial, soda water, seltzer water, neutral, beer, wine, red rose, white, avoid coffee, distilled spirits, soda, cola, diet others, and tea, black tea, decaffeinated regular black tea. Um, anyway, that is about all I have to say for this video, and sorry I went a little quickly, but there's not that many people with type O negative blood anyways, so, um, that's about it. And I'll make another video tomorrow on the history and um, of a little bit of history behind blood types, maybe. But if I read about it and I decide that it's kind of fraudulent, so to speak, um, fraudulent inf information, I will go ahead and make another video on more blood type, I mean more more diet tips for typo, typo negative, typo positive, maybe they're similar in certain dietary things, which I think they are, so I'll make another video like that, and have a good rest of your day. If whatever time zone you live in, and that's it. Thank you for viewing. Peace.